So Terry, mm -hmm. for those four months, um, yeah, was it hard to function? And I mean, I know people I, have asked this question before, but like with your daily, I don't know. I I I don't I don't know. When I say I have four seconds of recollection, each one lasted for a second. That's that's it. Then I can honestly say I don't know. But somehow I was fed. Somehow, you know, <laughs> one one of the uh, recollections I have is just seeing my arm reach for the doona and pulling the doona back on the bed. So as I could obviously get into bed, about one second worth, boom, then nothing. Yeah. The other I was in the shower and there was water rushing down on my face, about one second, and then pff, nothing gone again. Yeah. Uh, the other was there was a chair that I apparently sat on <laughs> at the front of my veranda of my house every day from about seven o'clock in the morning till about 10 o'clock at night. How do I know? The neighbours told me because I'd walk past my house every day with their dogs. And they would see me sitting there, like just gone, <laughs> you know, like there was no one there, you know. Um, and I can remember uh, uh, grabbing the chair that I, that I sat on, just grabbing the chair and turning it around to sit on it a second. Yeah? And the other one was uh, I, I saw... Uh, the left hand grasping a cup of coffee and this hand obviously stirring a cup of coffee, just stirring it, that one second. That's it. I had no clue what happened, none. But somehow this body must have fed itself like it was making a cup of coffee. I didn't think about making it. Was just, I just witnessed that happening. Like I witnessed the water on my face, like I witnessed my arm pulling back the doona, like I witnessed the, the arm pulling the chair around. Yeah. So, you know, we think it's, you know, me that's running the show, it's me that's in control, it's me that's calling the shots and blah, blah. It's not. We just think that's the case. It's not. Because somehow this body survived. Kept clean somehow. Obviously, it must have showered every day. At least I hope it did. You know what I mean? I hope it did. You know, but, the, but I don't know. I don't, I have zero recollection because this stopped. And it just slowly, slowly started to come back online again. Slowly. Everything just was alive. Everything is alive actually it's like everything it's not that there's a thing so there's just one aliveness one and it's, if we speak dualistically we would say everything is alive yeah but it's just and um then i started doing this I was not expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. Not at all was I expecting this. I'd worked in corporate, you know, for quite a few years and ran successful companies and, you know, and done a lot of different things. I was a musician, singer. <laughs> it was a career I had once, you know, qualified hairdresser. It was that when I was, you know, 18, 19, 20, whatever it was. It's done so many different things. And I, and I could go off and do anything I wanted, really. And it happens to be this. It's nothing else I have any interest in. I just don't have any interest in anything else, like nothing. You know, it's, it's pretty difficult to get me interested in most things. Pretty difficult. You know, it's not that I'm not interested, but... I remember, you know, when I came out of that three-month period and I kind of went, Jesus Christ, why didn't such and such teacher just say blah, blah, blah? I would have got it. There's got to be, yeah? and I went, there's got to be a simpler 
more direct way of communicating this. Got to be. <laughs> you know? And then as soon as that came out of my mouth, download. It was just download, 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 download. Yeah. And then I just, you know, just go to Bob's group, Sailor Bob Adamson's group, you know, and I'd be sitting there and <laughs> stuff coming out of me. I'm like, holy shit, that's that, you know. And then people just started asking me questions and wanting to spend time with me. And, you know, and before you knew it, I was, this happened. And my, and my brother said, you got to set up a website. you got to, you know, there's people that need you. You know, I'm like, I don't know how to do any of that, you know. Not, yeah, I'm good at telling people to what I want, you know. Anyway, so he helped me and just said all that. And then I, now I just do this. I don't know. I don't know. This is what is now happening. You know, and I sometimes, I don't know if people don't get it when I say this, but I, I, sometimes I'm sitting here and I'm hearing stuff come out of here. Yeah, I'm hearing stuff come out of here that I haven't heard come out of here before. And I go, holy shit, that was awesome. I don't verbalize it in the moment, but the thought arises, holy shit. You know, I don't know how many times that's happened. Yeah. So there's no credit. Do you understand? Like, just I just turn up. People say, "Do you prepare? Do you prepare?" <laughs> no, of course I don't prepare. I don't have. It's the most comfortable and easiest thing I could possibly do. I just sit down. I don't have to do anything. I just sit down and, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it, it's. But look. I also want to add just on that because of the question you just asked, Mitch. Yeah? How it happened for me, it will not happen for you that way. It just won't. That's taken. Sorry. That one's taken. <laughs> It'll be another way. And if that other way happens for you, that'll be taken. Because if you if you listen to everybody, yeah, what occurred, everyone's got a different story. So don't, you don't have to grab one and go, oh, okay, so, all right, so what happened for Terry? He was sitting there and, and he went, oh, the feeling. And, okay, so if I just look at that, feel, and then my mind will go, quite, okay, that's that's what i got to do. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm not saying that directly to you, Midge. I'm saying that generally for anybody listening. Yeah, so. yeah that makes sense. That, it, yeah. that it's unique to the end of, to the person, I guess. Yeah. You could say that. <laughs> Unique, but, but not. But I, I still cringed when you said it, but you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> we've only got we've only got duality as a language. Language is dualistic, so we've got to use it. That's you know all we got. And I'll I'll talk all night. I'll I'll speak dualistically all night if it's about unraveling the seeming dualistic character i'll speak all night i'll go and go and go and go as soon as people start asking me to speak about non i just go what <laughs> whatever i say ain't it so what's the point it's not it and it's the wrong end of the stick anyway and grab the if duality is the problem we better look at that because everyone's going, non-duality is not the problem. That's the aim. Okay, well, what's the problem? Duality. All right. What creates that? <laughs> what do we need to create the seeming duality? It's incredible when you realise it's just thoughts. So that's the only place the duality arises. Oh, my God, in mind. Well, that's huge to see that. Huge. Just to see that. That's so why I was spending time talking about, you know, what does the seeing say? What does the hearing, tasting, touching, smelling say? Doesn't say anything. Zero. <laughs> so we've got five senses that we're experiencing all day long that are non-dualistic and we ignore them. We ignore them. <laughs> totally ignore them. Like we don't yeah, fall into the dualistic, which is what we've been taught to do. 
That's just the way it is. Not, and it's not that there's something wrong with that either. That's just the way it is. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not a mistake. It's just the way it is. <laughs> hmm. Sarah, I haven't heard from you. Are you okay? Can't if yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Very happy just sitting here listening. Thank you. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Thanks. Good, yeah. It should be for everybody. Yeah, good. Great. Cool. Now, what do we do? <laughs> now, what do we do? I've heard you um, say, or, you know, I was listening to something recently where you said, um, you know, your thoughts come from source. They're not even your thoughts, they're just coming from source consciousness even that's and a so, even, even that's just a pointer right but, and because so, they're just too yeah go on sorry oh well so i was kind of like contemplating how to how to like work with that or whatever and 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 what i was thinking was that you know thoughts are coming to you and kind of whatever you tend to grab onto is what you then sort of become or whatever and or manifest or whatever um so so then so then knowing that obviously lately i've been like when a thought arises and I, and i'll say this is what confuses me cuz i'll i'll say to myself you don't need to grab onto that cuz that's not you or whatever but then i'm like well who is that <laughs> who's saying that who's saying that's, to you, don't that's grab a, onto that's that. a that's a really really good question and what's the answer it's, it's another thought right good yes it's another thought now can you see that i can see, see that because we think yes there's thoughts but then there are my thoughts <laughs> then there are my thoughts yeah there are thoughts then there are my thoughts i'm not going to grab a hold of those thoughts says thoughts seriously that's what's happening the whole show is going on in a bubble and it's just all thoughts all of it including the i'm not going to grab those thoughts yeah <laughs> including that yeah now that I'm not going to grab those thoughts, yeah, is not in relation to the me character. It's in relation to that that is aware of those thoughts. So that thought, I'm not going to grab hold of those thoughts yeah, or that thought or whatever the case may be, that thought, see, it's sometimes referred to as the inner teacher. After a while, when you get a great enough understanding of this, yeah, thoughts can start to actually guide you. They can. And that would be a, a reasonable example as well. Yeah, as Providing you realise that I'm not going to grab all of that thought is not the me character saying that. Yeah, It's just another thought that arises. Yeah, So it's a guide. Ah, oh, yes, okay. But the message as to is this message right now is to this consciousness. You, this. Yeah. So it can be difficult, but it's but it can be seen. It can be difficult, but it can be seen. Yeah. There isn't thoughts and a me character that has thoughts about thoughts. There's only thoughts. The me character is is the thoughts. Yeah. And the thoughts about the thoughts is still the thoughts. Yeah. We're just so used to saying my thoughts. Yeah. But that that's saying my thoughts is the mind. There's no character there. There's no person there. Yeah. It's this, it's, it's con conscious. You've just been calling it Midge your whole life. And you were taught that 
this awareness, this consciousness was called Midge. And Midge was a good girl or Midge was a bad girl or, yeah. And, and then, so <laughs> this that is real, because consciousness is real. The awareness is real. This that is real. If you identify this that is real as me, guess what the me is going to feel like? Real. Do you understand? Do you understand the misidentification that happens? It's not our fault. It happens at a very, very, very young age. It's not our parents' fault either because it happened to them at the same age around two. And it happened to their parents and their parents. And it just gets passed on. Yeah? All conditioning. So... You asked, you know, what can I do with this? Yeah, what can I? <laughs> what you can do <laughs> is just come to see that all thoughts are contained in a bubble. And you're aware of that that's in the bubble, and you are not in that bubble. And what's going on in that bubble has got zero, zip, nada, nothing to do with you. And I'm not defining what you is other than I'll ask you, are you conscious? And you'll go, yes. As soon as I start to try and define what you is, I've split you up. I've created a thing again. Do you understand? Yeah. If you understand that a me character is just a character that's created with thoughts, yeah, that character can't hear. It's character. It's a story, unless you're telling me a story can hear. You know a story can't hear. Story's always about something. Yeah? yeah. And in this case, when it comes to the mind, the story is about the story. And about the story and about the story and it's story within story within story within story within story. Within story. Yeah. And the movie characters just a part of that story. It's a story. It's got nothing to do with this that's sitting here now. Nothing to do with it. Unless you believe that this that's sitting here now is Midge. And if you do, you're kind of fucked. You know what I'm like? Yeah. You're not really, but we think we are. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it's... It'd just be the story again. Yeah. So, you know, it's not about, you know, trying to take advantage of this understanding or how can I better use this or, you know, um, you just got to see that you're not that story. Full stop. You're not in there. If I could create amnesia in you, Midge, and you, all your backstory was gone, yeah, all gone, <laughs> like no recollection, you know it wouldn't be Midge sitting here with me. You know that. Yeah. And imagine the all the, the whole backstory is gone, just all gone. What problem would you have other than Oh, I can't remember who I am. Apart from that, who I am. Do you hope that comes back? Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't. There'd be there'd be no Midge, and there'd be no Midge and Midge's story. Do you understand? Yeah. So you wouldn't be directly, presently affected by the story. You'd be free. Did you hear that? You'd be free. And all we've done is create amnesia in you. We should. It's a pointer. Yeah. I'm just trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You're not in there. <laughs> it's so easy to see it in other people, you know, hmm. when, yeah. when you talk about, um, you know, 
what happened to them in grade school and they're still angry about it today or whatever. And from, you know, when you hear that, you're like, well, let it go. It's not, that's, that was long ago. You don't have to think about, you know, it's easy to see it in other people. It's, it's, it's harder when you're, when you're still hanging on, you know, like, because you yeah. don't really realize it as much in yourself, I don't think. It's easier to see that. We, we, see, we see it easy in other people. For example, Jesus Christ, that person really seems to be stuck in their head at the moment. It's a common saying, right? And somebody's going, oh, Jesus Christ. What am I going to do? Jesus. Stuck in the head, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yet what's actually happening? There's just a body there in this position. That's all. Yeah. That's all. The rest is made up. Yeah. There's nothing actually happening to that person right here, right now. Nothing. Nothing. I have to ask people to do a reality check throughout the course of the day. Just stop, pause. If you do it 10 times a day, 100 times, it doesn't matter. But just stop and pause at any given moment in time, especially if you find you're a bit caught up or whatever. Just stop and pause. Come back. Not even come back, but just realise where you are. And then ask yourself, what's happening? Look under the table, if you like. You look behind the chair. Look up at the ceiling. The ceiling's not falling in. No one's bursting in the door with a submachine gun or anything. Like, nothing's happening. Nothing. Nothing's actually happening presently here now. What is happening is all imagined. Yeah. And people are doing that all day long, every day. People live in here. They're not living here, here. They'll tell you they are. <laughs> They'll tell you oh, I'm living here. <laughs> They're not. They're not. They don't even know what here is. They'll have a concept of here. You hear people will tell you, oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> today, today, today's the day. I'm going to spend as much of it, my time as I possibly can just being in the present moment. <laughs> like, clearly, that person has no idea what the present moment is because you cannot but be in the present moment all day long. That's the only place you can be. Anywhere else is imagined. Yet even while the imagining is happening, you're still here. <laughs> yeah, we fall into the imagination and become all that. Okay. <laughs> I rabbited on tonight. 